Good morning, everyone. It says it's barely 50 degrees outside, so I got all suited up in a coat and a long sleeve and the beanie. And it's really not that bad. I'm definitely overdressed. I'm gonna have to go change. Okay, pardon the hat hair, but this is much better. T-shirt weather. I can't believe I'm in a t-shirt and it's barely 50 degrees. Anyways, I've been in such a project mode the last couple of weeks or months, honestly, that a lot of like day-to-day -day stuff like laundry um, has fallen a little bit behind and so I've been working on that. But yeah, I actually did a couple of loads of laundry yesterday and this is just everything that didn't get to dry before dark. So here we are before I get started on other projects, cleaning up my mess from yesterday. But I'm actually working on a project over there right now and I don't want to spoil that for you because um, it's a little bit of, of a surprise. I'm pretty sure I know that this video is going to go up before that video um, because I hit a little bit of a roadblock with it. I'm going to have to redo something and then also I have a full time job um, at a software company. I'm salaried um, and basically what that means is when I have projects, I have projects and when I don't have projects, I don't have projects. Now the thing is, is that it's very rare not to have projects, but I was doing a huge project and I can't give out too many details of it, but basically somebody was looking to buy our software that's called a pilot and there was a gap between them doing the pilot and them deciding, yes, we're gonna go with you. And during that gap, because it's such an important customer, they didn't assign me anything else because they wanted me to be ready to go whenever they decided to sign the contract. And so that's where a lot of these projects got done um, because I was just waiting for work to come. <laughs> And I'm sure that sounds really nice to a lot of you guys. You probably go, wow, where would I get a job like that? Um, the flip side is true, uh, which is why I'm telling you, because now that they have signed the contract, my life is going to basically become only work. <laughs> um, so it is the weekend and I expect come Monday, I'm going to be working 50, 60 hour weeks, probably for the foreseeable future. I don't, I don't know, um, through the end of the year, maybe. I'm not sure. It's really hard for me to know right now what, what things are gonna look like project wise. So yeah, if you guys see a drop off in my videos, uh, it takes a long time to get videos out, things like that. You'll know why. And I expect it will pick up in the new year. Um, but I don't know that. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to like, you know, kind of throw in here in the introduction is just, you know, YouTube, you have the power of movie magic, editing magic. And so there's a lot of things that I do, you know, little projects and little things that I have to do around the homestead that are not in the context of, you know, the agave bed, for example, or building a rock wall. I don't want to interrupt the other video because the other video is just about the garden bed or just about the rock wall, for example. So basically all that to say, um, I'm, I'm gonna take you guys around with me for some more day-to-day -day stuff. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean like cooking and cleaning and stuff, um, but more like the little oddball projects that happen, you know, between the span of all of the bigger projects that you guys already have videos on. So yeah, all of this like video and the idea for the video and everything kind of started yesterday when I was doing like three loads of laundry trying to catch up since the weather is turning. And as you can see, I use a clothesline these curtains for example is something i thrifted months ago and i mean like maybe june <laughs> and 
they've been sitting on the bottom of my hamper that whole time because I was like, I just had enough laundry for loads and I was, these are extra and I wasn't willing to run the extra load. Um, but I'm running out of time to run the extra load now. So yeah, I had to run all these loads yesterday. And obviously hanging all those loads takes a lot of time. It just takes time in general for me to do laundry because I have to hook up my washing machine every single time. Run the extension cord through the window, take the screen off, all that kind of stuff. So definitely an ordeal when I do laundry. <laughs> That is really exciting. I had somebody just give me some cash for this water tank. I know a lot of you are going to be really sad that I'm getting rid of this water tank, but I'm not joking, guys. It's just way too big. Will I get another one in the future? Maybe. But I just do not need 3,000 gallons. So they're going to come back and um, pump the rest of the water out and get a trailer going and everything. So... This should be out of here today. Woo! You guys, look at the giant hole in the tree. That's so exciting. Alrighty, yeah, so it's about that time of year. Yesterday, I drained the swamp cooler. I don't have a cover for it. I didn't have a cover for it last year and it was fine, so I don't know if I'm going to get one this year or not. If I was really like on top of things, I would clean it now so that it's all ready to go next summer and I don't have to clean it, you know, when it's potentially like, oh my gosh, there's a heat wave out of nowhere. Uh, but I'm not on top of it now. Like I said, I basically have this weekend <laughs> before my life becomes consumed by work. So I'm a little bit frantic to get all the things done that need to get done. If I go to the other side of the house, we can look at the Suzuki. Um, now, if you remember the Suzuki, I had a one and a two part video on working on it. And in the second part, I was doing the uh, CV and the, um, strut, couldn't think of the word there for a second, on the driver's side. And I basically was like, yeah, I'll do the other ones off camera. <laughs> well, I never did them off camera. It took me a long time to do the first one, but that was also the first time I had done it. And I also didn't have the impact wrench yet. So once I got the impact wrench, things went pretty quickly. So we shall see how, how quickly this goes. Easiest time around. came off way too easy, I feel like. What the fuck was holding it on?
for these. Um, basically the thumbnail like it's still fine at the cubicle it like broke all the way down here nothing appears to be bleeding and it didn't seem to separate it or anything so I am not gonna cut anything back I'm just gonna leave it and hopefully it will just grow out you know cuz like that happens a lot where it breaks down you know like here ish but it's like all the way at the bottom that it broke oh that felt good the ground okay with all the sand and everything yeah okay do you think do you think we'll have enough time that when i shove the inside in all greased up that i can wait and grease the outside part of it after it's in i think that's fine There's okay because that will be safer do you want to try to fit that back in while i hold this out yeah okay so i'll move this out of the way Although and we got it out with it angled this way right Okay. You're the you're the one who got it back in the first time, though, so hopefully it just it was just angled a little more up than it seemed like it should have been. There you go. Okay. Okay. okay um. So now we have to remember we have to put the bot the thing on the bottom too. Okay. So let's see how much I range wonder, of motion I, this has. Do I start sliding it on and then drop it? Um, no, it's not going to go that way. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, you can. Oh, Holy cow. Gorgeous. Okay. Am I on there? Yeah, you're on there. Backing up back on, it'll save us, right? Yeah, it'll hold. I'm just wondering why it doesn't seem long enough. <laughs> yeah, Tight. this is kind of where it is. There sits. we go. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So you're doing new struts and everything. That's how they come, and then this is how much they... This one? Uh-huh. It's all collapsed. It's not pushing back out on its own. Oh, okay. I've, like, never tackled this kind of job before. That's a nice puppy over there. My hands are dirty. The ground is dirty. The part dirty. is dirty. So I'll hold this in place. I'll push this this way. I need the groove that this goes in. I don't really see it. It's not, not even close. There we go. Don't buy these snap rings. The snap ring pliers from Harbor Freight. It's probably the only thing that I really not like from Harbor Freight. Hey. Yay. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. Cool. So this is in the differential. That makes a seal. These are all there. The only thing we got to figure out is how to hold whether or not this ball joint's <clears throat> supposed to spin or not like that. 
I hope the cotter pins I got are strong enough, because, like, they would be a little harbor free. A bajillion for five dollars sort of deal. It's going. Just got to get through those first few turns. Okay. This is, like, quite satisfying yeah, to I see. Haven't, I haven't tightened everything yet. I'll go back there and retighten everything. All right. Success. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Glad I could help. I don't know. Yeah, the driver's side, that was possible to do with one person. I don't know that this was possible to do with one person. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I so. I think I you think saved so. my butt. <laughs> no, that was a two-person job. Uh, everybody, that was Sam, by the way. He is one of my neighbors. Um, and it's, like, so funny because it turns out that we've kind of had the same life. We lived in... Um, vans camper vans and traveled around and did that whole thing for a couple years and then ended up here within like six months of each other I bought my house and then like six months later he bought his house and then we were sitting around at the bonfire the other night and um talking about birthdays and we realized we have the same fucking birthday I and mean, we're not born the same year but we have the same birthday um so that's kind of wild that <laughs> we ended up here at basically had the same life trajectory ended up in the same place have the same birthday. I think it's an Aquarius thing, to be honest. But. Awesome. Okay, I just gotta get everything tightened up at this point. Um, and that is easy peasy. Oh boy. My hands are all dirty now, you're gonna be dirty. Are you gonna take a bath? Can you pet with all these nasty, dirty hands? You're awfully cute, buddy. <sighs> Sun's almost setting, and I don't wanna take a test drive in the dark, so I assume I will get a chance to test drive it when it's not dark at some point during the week. Oh boy. Pardon my pajamas. I got a spare moment from work and um, 
I took a test drive with the Suzuki yesterday and I think everything that I did is holding up. Looks like it, um, I mean, I don't know. It had a noise. I was slightly hopeful that doing this would fix the noise. Um, the noise was intermittent but really loud before and now I think the noise is constant but barely there. <laughs> so I'm not sure what to make out of that. I don't have time to work with the Suzuki right now. Um, my test drive yesterday was into the post office because the relay for the van got here. So hopefully these rusty screws stay in one piece because if not, I'm kind of screwed. No pun intended. All right. You guys really probably can't see that, right? The relay's here. These screws are... really in rough shape. Should I have unplugged this first? Mm -hmm. And that one came off. Beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, fucking hell. Did you? That was awfully loud. Alrighty. Well, fingers crossed. I really don't think I'm going to have time to test drive it today. Um,. And I am not a fan of just letting my van idle for like 20 minutes and using up gas for no reason to test this. So I guess I'll turn the engine into accessory mode and see what happens. But other than that, we're going to wait until I go to town tomorrow to see if all of this worked or not. As small of a test that that was... It is an improvement because this fan was in turbo mode even when I was just turning it on accessory mode. I mean, I don't know that it really means anything because it, it could literally mean that this doesn't work at all. <laughs> um, we won't know until the actual fans come on. But yeah, so far so good. We will test drive it tomorrow. Wish me luck. Thank you.